Imagine a world where your computer grows smarter every day, where the system itself learns to predict what you need before you even ask. That world is not science fiction anymore. It is the foundation of what is being whispered about the next era of Microsoft's operating system. Reports are spreading across the technology space, and they suggest that Windows 12 is coming sooner than most people thought. The idea of a release in late 2025 has created waves of discussion. But what makes this moment so different is not just the date itself. It is how everything about the system appears to be changing at once, from the design to the way the core functions are built, and the timing may line up with one of the most important shifts in the history of personal computing. Microsoft has not announced an official launch. That silence has only added to the storm. Analysts, journalists, and enthusiasts have pieced together information from scattered leaks, build numbers, and official support timelines. What stands out most is the October 2025 deadline for Windows 10 support. When a company as large as Microsoft chooses to cut support for hundreds of millions of machines, it rarely happens without a plan for what comes next. Many now believe the end of Windows 10 will act as the opening gate for Windows 12. That theory makes sense when one looks back at how Microsoft has used similar cycles in the past. Windows XP ended, and Windows Vista appeared. Windows 7 support ended, and Windows 10 became the path forward. Patterns in the history of operating systems do not guarantee the future, but they provide context that strengthens the case for a new release in this time frame. Another clue comes from Windows 11 itself. Over the past year, Microsoft has placed heavy emphasis on version 23H2 and version 24H2, and now insiders are reporting that version 25H2 is arriving soon. Each one of these represents a major update to Windows 11, but their very existence raises questions. If the company is willing to keep building larger and larger feature updates, why not simply extend Windows 11 for many more years? The counter-argument is powerful. Each new build is laying groundwork. Quiet changes are happening in the background, many of them invisible to the average user, but the foundation is being adjusted. Observers suggest these changes act as stepping stones, leading directly to Windows 12. The software must be tested gradually before it arrives as a complete operating system. That is why features appear piece by piece before being unified later under a new name. One of the strongest areas of attention is artificial intelligence. Microsoft has already placed Copilot at the center of its ecosystem. Within Office, within Edge, and even within Windows itself, Copilot is becoming more visible. Yet every sign points to the current version being only the beginning. With Windows 12, insiders say AI will no longer feel like an app sitting on top of the system. Instead, it will become part of the system itself. That change is profound. Imagine a computer that not only launches programs, but also suggests what step you may want to take next, or that rearranges resources to speed up a task before you even notice a slowdown. These are the kinds of changes people believe Windows 12 is preparing to deliver. Design leaks have also stirred conversation. Early concepts suggest a floating taskbar, new widget areas, and deeper cloud integration. Some reports describe interfaces that move away from the fixed bottom bar and instead create a more adaptive, modern look. This matches a larger shift in the industry. Apple, Google, and other major players have redesigned their systems in recent years to be more fluid and less tied to traditional layouts. Microsoft does not want to be left behind. A refreshed design can spark new interest, but it also gives the company the chance to rebuild underlying code and remove legacy elements that have slowed performance. A new look is not just about style, it is about reshaping how the system works. Yet not everyone agrees on the exact date. Some researchers argue that Microsoft may hold the release until early 2026. The reasoning is tied to the development cycle. Windows 11 version 25 H2 is still being prepared, and if that update lands in late 2025, the company may choose to let it breathe before moving on. A January or March 2026 launch could give more time for refinement. It also would not be the first time Microsoft has stretched a cycle beyond what people expected. The Windows Vista delay, the extended life of Windows 7, and the surprise continuation of Windows 10 all serve as reminders that the company makes adjustments when needed. What matters most is not the month or quarter, but the momentum. Every sign points toward a release in the near term 
whether the date reads late 2025 or early 2026. One of the more fascinating elements of this conversation is how Microsoft positions Windows 12 in the broader market. Operating systems no longer exist in isolation. They live at the center of ecosystems that include cloud services, mobile devices, gaming platforms, and productivity suites. With Windows 12, Microsoft has the chance to unify these more tightly. Integration with Azure cloud services, with Xbox features, and with the Microsoft 365 suite could become even deeper. That integration is not just convenience. It also drives revenue and locks users into the ecosystem more firmly. Analysts believe the success of Windows 12 will be judged not only by the features on the desktop, but also by how well it connects with the rest of Microsoft's services. Performance is another area of focus. Every new operating system promises to be faster, but leaks suggest that Microsoft is doing more this time. There is talk of resource allocation handled by AI, meaning the system could decide in real time which programs need more power and which can step back. For gamers, this could mean higher frame rates and smoother play. For creators, it could mean faster rendering and editing. For everyday users, it could mean fewer delays when switching between tasks. While these features are still only whispers, the direction is clear. Microsoft sees performance as central to the pitch for Windows 12. The debate over hardware requirements ties back into release timing. If Microsoft launches Windows 12 in 2025, it may coincide with a new wave of devices built specifically for AI integration. Chip makers like Intel, AMD, and Qualcomm are already preparing processors with built-in AI acceleration. Releasing Windows 12 alongside this new hardware could showcase the power of the system in ways that Windows 11 never could. It is a strategic alignment of software and hardware that makes the rumored date even more believable. The community response to these leaks has been mixed. Some enthusiasts are excited at the idea of a new design and smarter features. Others worry about forced upgrades, higher system requirements, and possible instability. The memory of rough launches in the past, such as Windows Vista or the early days of Windows 8, still lingers. That is why Microsoft faces a delicate balance. The company must show enough innovation to excite the market while delivering enough stability to reassure businesses. If Windows 12 becomes too radical, adoption may slow. If it becomes too safe, interest may fade. That tension is what makes the release so important. While speculation is natural, one fact remains solid. The future of Windows is already in motion. The cycle of updates, the deadlines for support, and the leaks of design changes all point to a shift that cannot be ignored. Whether the launch occurs in October 2025 or slips into the following year, Windows 12 represents more than just another version number. It represents the next stage in Microsoft's vision for personal computing, where AI, design, security, and performance converge. The world of technology is moving quickly, and Microsoft has no choice but to move with it. The release date matters, but the bigger story is the change that comes with it.